Hey guys, what's up? I am here in Hawaii. Today is Tuesday and I am here making my breakfast. What am I having? Well, I actually went to Walmart because I'm staying in an Airbnb. So I went to Walmart and I got my protein pancakes. Y'all know I love these, right? So I made some eggs, made some pancakes with some bananas. And I also got my triple oikos greek yogurt y'all so this whole breakfast is 51 grams of protein now in this specific video i'm going to be showing y'all my workouts how i try to maintain a healthy and sustainable lifestyle on vacation it's all about discipline at the end of the day and i want to do this i didn't have to go to walmart and get all these things but one it's budget friendly <laughs> and two I wanted to, you know, and, I, and I'm trying to get my protein in because I am going to be working out. I am going to be hiking, doing a bunch of cool stuff. So because I'm doing all of that, you should go ahead and subscribe. That way you don't miss out on anything that I'm doing. Because at the end of the day, this channel is all about helping you guys see how I create this healthy and sustainable lifestyle. It's not unrealistic. It's not restrictive. I enjoy it. I am happy. <laughs> Let's try to find a song for this set. And there we go. Had to put on Big Sean dance because you already know I'm in Waikiki. <laughs> I want to give you guys some tips as to how to stay consistent with your fitness goals while on vacation. So the first thing I'm going to say is discipline, discipline, discipline. I feel like sometimes people want like a magic answer to these things, but... The reality is, is I apply discipline, even though I could have just used that time to go to the beach or go do this and go do that. I was like, no, I'm going to go ahead and wake up early and get these workouts in before I do all the activities that I want to do. Now, thankfully, I was able to go to this 24 hour that was like 10 minutes away from my Airbnb. But I'm just saying, if you really have that discipline, you will work out no matter what. I do wanna emphasize that no, you do not have to work out. I mean, for example, I was in Hawaii for a week, right? I could have just spent that whole week, you know, doing the hikes and stuff like that. I didn't have to go to the gym. Not weightlifting for one week is not gonna hinder my progress whatsoever. So I do want you guys to know that just like how one week of working out is not going to make you jacked, right? So, yeah, definitely remember that. But at the same time, you know, when you have that level of discipline, I just feel like you're just going to do it no matter what. You know, if you know for a fact that you can get it in and spend that hour to work out, then you're going to go ahead and do it. Another tip that I have for you guys is to prioritize your protein and all of your meals as much as you can. So I made that breakfast that you guys just saw every single day literally every single day starting off my day with high protein right and i also took protein chips with me everywhere so you guys can see a few clips that i'm gonna go ahead and put in here but yeah you guys overall i feel like even if some of my meals weren't like the healthiest i still made sure that they had a lot of protein in it i also want to let you guys know that i was not tracking my calories or my macros throughout this vacation and i personally just feel like there's no need for it again i'm gonna be indulging a little bit more which is perfectly fine if you want to track you can go ahead and still track to me it's just like it's vacation i'm not really trying to stick to a cut necessarily it's just more like i'm gonna eat until i'm satisfied and that's it and that's how it should always be too whether you're cutting maintaining or bulking eat until you're satisfied well with bulking that's a little challenging but because <laughs> you're required to eat so much but still you guys get the point I'm trying to fix my hair like <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful you guys look oh my gosh this hike though look Yeah, nah, bruh. This is going up. It's just... <laughs> it's just like this. Oh my gosh. This is... Yo, this is getting out of hand. 
this is getting you know i'm concerned about the way down i'm gonna be on my knees bro oh my gosh <laughs> I am so glad that I brought it because oh my gosh, I'm losing my eyesight. Now I know the hikers are gonna be like, why are you wearing vans? I know. But oh, 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 oh. oh no 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 I'm wearing vans because they have more grip than like my Nikes, so that's why I brought these. Hey guys, good morning. I am literally here. I just finished making breakfast and I'm getting ready to go to the gym. Tell me, look at what I see. You see it? It's a bee. Oh my gosh. And it's literally been crawling like that. Like it's been flying around like crazy. I've never seen a bee do that. Like obviously they fly around, but this one is like feral. <laughs> Dude, I'm literally gonna cry. I like, you don't understand. I just cannot stand it. <laughs> and the thing is, is like, um, the windows here, I don't know why, but none of them have screens. And I opened the window and sure enough, it came in. I killed it. It's right there. <laughs> I kept spraying it with Lysol and Windex and I sprayed it until it drowned. I know we need bees, but like, I'm sorry. That thing needed to go. Hey guys, what's up? So I just had my breakfast that I've already showed you guys, the eggs, protein pancakes, and it was delicious. And y'all saw the bee terrorizing me. <laughs> that thing was scary. Like it just kept buzzing around. Like, ugh, I don't like all that. But anyways, <laughs> we are here at 24 Hour Fitness again. We're gonna work out and look at the outfit nails look look look, look. you see the nails blue oh you're gonna see the whole fit right now but <laughs> but we're all blue today okay so i'm thinking of doing back and biceps by the way let me show you the bruises that i have from that hack squat machine look hell no till the no 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 hell till the no and honestly, it wasn't surprising because it, it hurt, to be honest. It really was hurting, but I just kept pushing through. I should have grabbed like a towel or something, you know, to like put it right there, but I didn't. But I guess these are like my battle scars. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So as you guys saw yesterday, you saw that I went on a hike. It was the Lanikai. I keep saying Lanikai. It's Lanikai pillbox hike. If you're ever in Hawaii, you could go ahead and try it out. But anyways my next tip for you guys is to get your steps in so you can go hiking or just walk as much as you can to different places whenever you have the chance to walk go ahead and walk because getting your steps in will still keep you active throughout the day your body's still moving and all that good stuff but let's say if you don't reach exactly like 10,000 steps a day because i know everyone is constantly like 10,000 steps 10,000 steps i mean in my opinion, I feel like, you know, about 6,000 plus is pretty good. So even 6,000 is a good amount. But overall, like I said, try to get as many steps as you can. Ooh, another one. Make sure to drink lots of water, as much water as you can. Ideally, about 8 to 10 classes a day. So yeah, get on that water. Hydrate yourself. That way your muscles are hydrated and that also helps them recover a little bit. Speaking of recovery, a great tip is to get some sleep. That's something that you should constantly do whether you're on vacation or not. But just want to remind you guys that, you know, I understand you're on vacation. You're out here having fun, doing this and that. But hey, that sleep is very important, especially if you're working out. So your body needs sleep in order to recover from those workouts. Get at least seven to nine hours of sleep per night. <sighs> Y'all, I'm about to do this hike. It's called Coco Head Crater Trail. <laughs> Y'all, they had us do a warm up because it was already steep coming here. <sighs> Let's get into it.
Real quick, you guys, I want to talk about this hike right here because it was so hard that I could not really record while I was hiking. Like, this is easily the hardest hike I have ever done so far in my entire life. It's literally a Stairmaster, a real-life Stairmaster, because as you guys saw in one of the clips, it's literally all stairs from the bottom to the top. I highly recommend doing this if you really want a challenge, but just know you might die. <laughs> Like, I kept stopping so many times, and I just felt the burn in my thighs. Oh, it was crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, that was easily the hardest hike I've ever done in my life. That was insane. The fact that I couldn't even record along the way, that should tell you how hard this hike was. Oh my gosh <laughs> i mean the view is worth it like it's so beautiful but like <sighs> oh my gosh <sighs> same there yes it's okay sorry excuse me oh it's okay <laughs> look how beautiful this is Hey guys, what's up? So I'm here at a restaurant called Zippy's and one of my friends actually recommended it to me. So we're gonna go ahead and try it. Now y'all saw that hike that I just did. I deserve all of this, okay? I'm gonna show you right now, but there's a lot of protein in it. That's what it looks like. So it looks like we have spam, beef, chicken. I don't know if this is chicken or fish. I'll try it right now. You guys, I actually love baked beans. Or it's chili, actually, not baked beans. Ooh, I'm excited. I do want to mention that I did a different workout split when I was on vacation versus the workout split that I normally do at home. So I usually work out five times per week and I will usually separate my muscle groups. So I'll do like three upper body days and two lower body days. But because I had to pay for a day pass for some of these days, I was like, yeah, no, I'm not going to come here for five days. But that's just me. You know, everyone's different. Um, that's another thing, too. If you are traveling, figure out if the gym's near your Airbnb or hotel, wherever. Make sure that they offer day passes, you know, because that really helps a lot. Because obviously, it's a day pass. We get in there for free. And just let them know that you're traveling, too. So, I don't know, because... Hopefully they understand and maybe they can let you in, you know. But <laughs> I also want to emphasize overall that you need to really want this. You really want fitness. And what I mean by that is there are some people that try to stay consistent and try to do all these things and try to put in the time. But you know what? Like, they really don't want it deep down. And I feel like you really have to have the desire to do this because again like how i said in the beginning it's all about discipline and although it's all about discipline i also do enjoy this as well and i enjoy working out i enjoy reaping the benefits from it all different types of benefits not just physical also mental and emotional benefits from it as well so yeah you have to really want it in order to make it a priority because when you really want it you're going to make the time for it no matter what. It's kind of like, you know, when you like someone. If you like someone, you're going to make time to talk to them on the phone. You're going to make time to go out with them as much as you can. Why? Because you like that person and you really enjoy their time. So it's pretty much the same concept, you guys. If you truly want it, you will make it happen. If you still find yourself making excuses left and right, then you know what? Then that shows that you don't want it that badly. So... Yeah, and if that's the case, then you might have to reevaluate your goals and whatever it is that you're trying to do with your fitness journey. But overall, it is a vacation, so enjoy yourself too. Not to say I didn't enjoy myself, I did, but I'm just saying that. You know, you're on vacation, you know, there are certain things that I feel like you shouldn't have to worry about. You shouldn't have to come into your vacation worrying about, oh, I need to make sure that I'm on track and I need to sure make and I need to make sure I'm doing this, this, and that. Like, you shouldn't go into your vacation like that. 
Now, everyone's goals are different. Me personally, you know, I'm not training for a competition. I'm not doing anything like that. If you are doing that, then it's very different. But I'm just saying for people who are just trying to maintain a healthy and sustainable lifestyle, these are some tips that could really help you out. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed these tips. Hey guys, good morning. It's Saturday, my last day here. Well, tomorrow's my last day, but tomorrow I'm gonna be dropping off my car, going to the airport, you know, doing stuff like that early. So today's my last day to actually enjoy Hawaii. <laughs> but I just wanted to end this vlog. So this is like the fitness part of the vlog. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing my workout. And I thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications. That way you get notified on your phone every time I upload a brand new video. All right, guys. So stay tuned for my next video. Bye.